I'm a lover of the history of the Portuguese navigators. They were the pioneers and uh, really tough men. The uncle of my father has a fleet of trawlers. So that's why I grew up uh, among the ships. After 30 years on different companies, I, I could not be more satisfied. I like the ocean, I like to sail, I like ships, and I like people. And here, I get them all together. We are really dedicated to destinations, to places that there is no way to bring any mega ship or a bigger ship. This is the, the next port. So we go uh, approach with the pilot. We have to pass through this uh, shallow spot here. And when we are here, we have to swing the ship in front of the pier. 180 degrees. I have the size of the ship and uh, a little bit more. When there is two, three times the length of the ship, you can swing with speed. In these particular cases, no, you have to really stop the ship and swing it stopped. We start very early on arrival in the pilot station, and I have to organize my bridge team to prepare a safe arrival in port. Task assignments for today, I will be driving. Staff captain will do the communication. Any questions? Let's go. Pilot on board. When the pilot come, I brief him. Morning, Mr. Pilot. Welcome on board the Quest. In the ports, they are coming on board as captain's advisors. Okay, so this is a good swinging circle, or you recommend a little bit more? I keep the conning pilot, if you don't mind, as we proceed, and we will dock starboard side alongside. All the ships are unique, and of course, as much more you drive the ship, as more you learn these characteristics of the ship. True wind, 16 knots from northwest, starboard quarter. We'll push to the pier. The ships are females, because they are very unpredictable, like the ladies. 180, steady as she goes. Six knots, one mile to turning. So our position is the end of this pier. Yes, Captain. Okay, so we will swing between this cargo ship here and the, the yellow buoy. To maneuver the ship, you have two propellers. You have to use the power in order to create the torquing effect to move the ship sideways. Torquing the engines to all the bow, increasing the stern on the port engine. Split the rudders. Split the rudder. Initiating swinging slowly, slowly to port. One of my favorite parts of the job, of course, is to drive the ship into port, especially when the maneuvers are challenged. One of the most exciting moments is really when you feel that you are handling this um, amount of steel floating in the water and you have it in your hands, in your fingers. There's 10 knots in the port beam. 10 knots port beam blowing us to the pier. And the ship is coming slowly, slowly to parallel position. When you get on a big ship, the ship is the destination. You have activities and uh, things on board to do, and it will make yourself busy all day long. The Eagle has landed. On these small sized ships, the big advantage is the places where we take you. Because the destination is outside, it's not the ship. 